interrupt yourself. What remains? <sighs> Relax into that. Surrender to that. Be devoted to that. That is the essence of the individual merging with God. Become the all that is simply by stopping thoughts. It's much simpler than thinking about it and trying to become all that is. It's going to be very difficult to do as a body-mind. But pause all thoughts radically. Maintain pristine awakeness. Wake up in the wide open, ever-present, unchanging availability of the space of pure awareness itself. Stay there as long as you comfortably can. When thoughts pick back up, that's okay. Run with them for a couple minutes or so until you remember. Then again, radically stop yourselves. Unwind, unfurl this contraction that you call you, which is nothing but a contraction, a bundle of thoughts that never ceases to think about that which is all things. Stop imagining life. Instead, wake up to the truth of pure existence. Therein lies your bliss, your liberation, your success. Constantly remember to stop thinking. <sighs> Relax into the space from which nothing can be separated. Thus then there are no problems in that space because problems are made of that space. When you see the inseparability of all things, there cannot be a problem. Not really. You might still deal with things contextually, conventionally. But there are no problems at the core, at the heart of your sense of self. There are no problems because nothing is separable from the you that is perfectly ever available, untarnished, untouchable. That formless space due to which the appearance of form arises. Therein lies your bliss. Go before the mind. Let go of the mind. Stop thinking. Stop thinking. Trust. Yes, your life disappears. So what? Oh, but what about? <laughs> you are. No additions. Stop adding. It's the simplest. that contains the infinite possibilities. You are the essence of all spiritual teachings. You are, stay there. Don't add. You are to maintain awareness or increase awareness of the fact that you are, period. You can intensify this now, just turn up that dial. Don't think I've already done this before. I know where it leads. I know what it feels like, it's not that impressive. Don't do that. Stop thinking again. Stop that thought too. See that that too is a false idea. <sighs> and come undone in the space of love and bliss and joy and freedom and all encompassing wisdom. Yourself. Stop thinking. Amp up awareness. Amp up awareness. Revive consciousness. Pure love is this existence. Naturally, naturally, things start to express through you that are not controlled. You become more relaxed, more surrendered, more in flow, less problematic. You stop resisting the current of infinite intelligence. Literally, we resist infinite intelligence, and that's what we call us, me. And then we even, like, you know, take credit for that. Like, I've worked very hard. Like, we think it's intelligent. Our intelligence is measured by how much we can resist infinite intelligence. <laughs> if you do it really well, you get a PhD. <laughs> And you get worldwide recognition 
for your stupidity, <laughs> your capacity to resist infinite intelligence. This is my most costly joke. <laughs> Every time I make it, there's two or three people that ask for a refund. <laughs> and yes, they are all PhDs. <laughs> I'm serious. I lost thousands of dollars making this joke. It's not a joke. <laughs> so, instead of thinking that you are that which obstructs spontaneity, confidence, natural confidence, instead of believing that you are the bundle of thoughts that control the input, the universal input, and then distort it and try to give a little bit of that intelligence in a distorted version at one time and be attached to that instead of doing that just let it happen let it flow stop thinking recognize your true nature the wide open space of what perceives what perceives is that not effortless are you not effortlessly perceiving there's literally nothing in this space right now that can destroy your awareness. That fundamental isness. Become as established in awareness of being, the fact that you are, which is not a thing, it's just that you are. It's before everything. Before you can utter a single word, you are. Recognize that. That's why it's tricky, because it's so subtle. It's not something that appears in front of you. It's the fact that things can even appear in front of you, because you exist. But again, try to not exist right now. This is a really effective tool to becoming able to recognize it more clearly, more cleanly. Really attempt, pretend like you're trying to not exist and keep looking if it's working. See if there's any hand movement you can make, any thought or any memory you can conjure up, any sensation, any fixture of light, any color, is any of this obstructing or interfering with existence or separate from it? Can you separate whatever you experience right now from that existence itself? And can you stop that existence by means of an experience? Is there anything inside of your experience, anything form-based, anything that has some kind of quality or form? Can any quality or form or description cancel awareness or existence. When you realize that it can't, that is love. When you realize that nothing can obstruct pure existence, that is love. That activates this current of unconditional love. You can never fully love what you feel you could be afflicted by or affected by. Never. You can pretend, you can try, you can get really far, but you can never completely, 100% love something until you know that it can never, ever, ever affect you. You're absolutely liberated from the object of your love. Only then can you fully, truly love. In fact, then it's no longer you loving, it's simply recognized as being part and parcel of that awareness. It is like space. Love is like space. You are like space. Hmm? Try to delete the space of I am. Try to not be. See if any thought can stop I am. Check in with yourself. The next thought arises. Now there's a sensation in your body. Does it affect the I am? No, I still am sounds in the room, this dude is talking. Nope, I still am. When you continue to witness the stream, the data stream of mind flowing through this pure spacious existence, but you witness that it never affects the space in which it arises, that's liberation. You see?